Tuesday and Wednesday, December 6th and 7th, the sun is in our favorite sign, Sag, and the moon is in Pisces. Here we go again. I hope you guys are learning this. Astrology is about geometry. There's pure astronomy, and all it is is taking a picture at the moment of your birth, looking up at the sky. Your mom has the baby. <laughs> that would be you. They take a photo of the sky. They flatten it, and they see where all the planets are, and then they look at the geometry. So when we say the sun and moon are squaring, it's because literally the sun and moon are 90 degrees apart. It's, it fascinates me that we take it for granted. So that combination, I hope you're learning, a square between the sun and the moon is not easy. The interesting thing is Saturn is still hanging out with the sun. This happens for about seven to ten days because, again, the sun moves one degree and Saturn just stands there. And right now the sun's at 15 and Saturn's at 18, so it's only three days apart. So we have this wonderful energy of Sagittarius, which we've been talking about a lot. It has everything to do with physical energy, athletic, taking risks, going on trips, really looking at this life from the angle of the adventurer. Like your job as a Sagittarius is to ask these questions. Why am I here? What's the purpose of this life? If it's not fun, I'm going home. And I need to eat a little more and party a little more and have a little more fun. That's their function. I love Sag because this planet can get so grumpy. However, with the moon in Pisces, we've got the favorite, favorite story of fire and water. So the Pisces is like, no, I don't really want to go out of the house today. I don't want any adventures. I want to go inside and leave me alone in my little bedroom. And the Sag is like, oh my God, we have to go play. I'm, I'm so sick of you. So right inside that person is this dynamic. And then the gift of this is spirit. Because Sag is the philosopher and Pisces is the spiritualist. So you can see they have this fascination with the big picture. But the internal quest, and this is why you learn astrology. And by the way, next weekend... We have this level three in my school where kids come, kids, I call you guys kids, students come and they spend three days learning from me. And it's so wonderful because they learn how to do readings. They take a whole six-week course. You may have heard about it. But what happens during that time is people come in and we watch them do readings. Well, if you're a Sag Pisces, that would be the scariest thing in the world. Because Sag wants to jump in and Pisces is like, I got to get this right. I got to get this right. Pisces live with a little bit of a nervous energy because they're so sensitive. It's water and they feel everything. And Sag is like... Pfft. Why do we have to care so much? So this is a great opportunity in a school setting like that or in taking any risk at all in relationship. Take the risk to let your intuition, that moon and Pisces sensitivity, source or inform your Sag honesty and see if you can't live with a bit of discomfort because that's what's going on for these few days. Astrology Answers asked Deborah Silverman to say to you, when you feel the square between a sun and a moon in the heavens, if you're a Gemini, Sag, Virgo, or Pisces, this energy is going to affect you. I'll be very curious to hear how many of you are going, I don't know, I want to jump, but I just want to stay home. Astrology Answers told me to tell you all that. Deborah Silverman, Astrology Answers.